Take both of them and have a European mount it. Okay. Have the, just the skull. The skull? That one right there is going. Look at the head on him. Uh -huh. That's an older coyote there. Look at the block head on him. Uh -huh. he's, he's, he's smaller. This one right here is old though. Look at me, look. He ain't got no teeth. Uh -huh. The bottom teeth are completely gone. Yeah. His, uh, Bill's gone. His teeth, his teeth ain't that bad. He's just a healthy coyote. Mm -hmm. Well, a buddy of ours, a buddy of mine, he uh, he was running beagles this year. He's got some competition beagles that he trains in here and runs rabbits and stuff. And uh, he leases this place, and they've been having. This summer, he, his, I guess his beagles got too close to a den, and uh, one of his beagles got attacked twice. And uh, so he called me. This was, I, I'm, not, I'm guessing it was probably around June. It's August now. Uh, we came in here yesterday and hunted these coyotes, and uh, they, they busted us. Uh, I think some of it may have been me too much on the how. I mean, on the uh, on the call, just just constantly nonstop doing distress calls and changing it up so uh, me and Justin talked about it on the ride home yesterday and I said you know what I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna howl and I'm just gonna stop wait howl again wait I think I mean you, you can see on the video it was two three four minutes between each call just enough to kind of get them curious is what I was thinking you know maybe I can get them curious and uh, kind of try to ease in here. The wind really wasn't right, and uh, it keeps swirling on us. But uh, I just laid off the call. I didn't call very much. And uh, I think after the second howl, we seen them. Yeah. At the, at the, the older end. one. Yeah, we seen them. And uh, this older one came out. He, I mean, you, I don't know if you see it in the video, but he's missing his canines. He ain't got no bottom teeth. He's an old, old coyote. And this one's a mature coat too, but uh, I shot this one, and uh, he acted like he was going to run away, so I shot him again. Well, then he started getting up again, so we ended up shooting him three times. Uh, I actually ran out of shells here the other day when we shot our double uh, this weekend. And we shot another double this weekend that we got on video, but I ran out of shells. Well, Justin had bought some three and a half just to kind of try them, and... Uh, I don't know, like I said, I, I hate to say for sure because 
it was pretty far shot and we were shooting through some thick stuff so you know i don't know but the three and a half that didn't perform like the three inch did same shell was uh three and a half uh heavy x the waterfowl load but the three inches did better we actually could have used buckshot in here but we didn't even think about it and that's all we had with us so anyway we got to we actually shot three coyotes i don't know if the third one got on video but we couldn't we couldn't find it we never recovered it um but yeah i uh i just i on the uh last weekend i shot one by myself justin had to take care of some stuff i shot one by myself and uh we had been getting busted and uh, i said in that video you know that i think the pup stress is scaring them but uh i, I think i'm wrong about that because on these right here like i said we we, we ha i howled twice with uh, pauses quite a bit of pause in between we shot this coyote three times. I went to the pup distress. This one came in. I shot it. It ran right over here in front of Justin's camera. He shot it again. And uh, I stayed on the pup distress, and that third one came back out. And uh, I shot it. So, I mean, it's... I think I'm just I'm staying on the call too much with the, with the woodpecker distresses and things like that. They're, they're, they're uh, more territorial, I think right now i mean we know it's a proven fact now uh and we're we're, we're still learning as we go you know we ain't we ain't professional but we're uh we're killing coyotes man so the curiosity got the best of them with the howls. yeah that's what i think i think it, the curiosity because we got busted yesterday and i howled at them i mean they know shit they bark booger barked at us run off we got on them again they barked at us again run off and then they just shut up and uh so I, I told justin i said we ain't gonna kill them coyotes they done got you know they, they're smart to us they they know that you know we're they're in here educated. trying to yeah they're educated <clears throat> but uh man we came in here and just, just just did like i said man we just laid off the call just just enough to get their attention not overdo it i never went above 15 on the noise uh just to kind of not blare it through these woods because we knew we were set up right on top of them. They got a den here somewhere. I looked for it when I was looking for that third coyote, and I never found it. But there, I, there, I guarantee you there's a den here. So this is the same exact place that we heard them yesterday. But uh, we, we shot three, man. I hate that we didn't get a triple for this guy. Cause he, but I guarantee you it's laying out there dead somewhere because it was full of BBs when it was running off, and it wasn't running off real good. But I, just, I can't find no blood. Uh, with that yardage, and we may have just peppered it. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, and it was that count was every bit of probably 60 yards. So uh, that may have just been the, the range of that shell, you know. But I mean, this one right here was pretty far too. He was probably 40. Yeah, we say with a Carlson Carlson choke. I don't know what choke you have in yours. I just got a Remington modified that comes standard with it. I don't I don't have any special choke. Uh, I don't. I, I don't know. We, we may one day do a video where we, you know, kind of shoot them and compare them and see how tight the patterns are. But, I mean, I, I'm killing them, so right. it's hard for me to <laughs> to spend the money and get them. I mean, that that choke is probably a better choke. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll do some research on that. I need a video to come. Yeah. I just... Uh, when we post our other video, like I said, if, if you if you you know watch our videos, you're gonna hear me talk about that. You know, I think the pup distress is, is scaring them and and all that, but I don't think that's the case after today. Cause like I said, these coyotes had us pegged. They knew that something was up yesterday, and we educated them. And I thought to myself, we, it's hard to kill an educated cow, but I think summertime, you know, even uh, we talked about it uh, yesterday. Um, summertime when it's hot March you know usually we start crappie fishing about March but we're gonna probably hunt March and uh, July and August and then we start teal hunting and stuff but uh, when when it's the hotter months I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a lot of a lot of hounds and, and, and just mainly puppy stress because it works I mean it, it works this is our second double this weekend and uh, we ain't hunting no prime areas either. This ain't, you know, this is East Texas. I don't know if you can see around us, but it's a dang thicket. I mean, 
It's hard to tell because I watch more videos and it looks open. It looks a lot more open on the video. But that's just because we the only we have to beat through brush and, and uh, you know uh, stuff like that to get to these creek bottoms. These creek bottoms are the only open area. The rest is pine plantations with yo ponds and briars you can't throw a rock through. So we're getting on these creek bottoms is the reason it looks a little bit more open, but I, it, it's a ticket. I mean, it's, and uh, so anyway, uh, hopefully we got good footage and we don't have a cameraman. Everything we're shooting on a, on a GoPro and uh, we'll talk about what GoPros we have one day on a video and I had a mount on mine that ended up breaking, so I'll talk about that. And he's got a better mount that's, that's really good. I actually I bought one also, and we'll, we'll talk about that too that way. I just don't want to give, you know, give information out. And, you know, some people may think that, you know, that, oh, well, I'm going to go get that because, you know, he said it's good. But, it was yeah. pretty gospel whenever it's just my opinion. Yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll make dang sure that we we put stuff to the test before we just we start talking about it because I don't uh I don't want people to go spend their hard earned money on stuff that you know that's crap. Right. But just because we have it and we bought it that we think it's the best, you know. Because I'm not I'm not partial to any products. Cause we <laughs> our only sponsors are the people we work for. <laughs> right. So. Anyway, it's just freaking, yeah, we're going to get these drug out of here and call the guy that's leasing this property and let him know. Hopefully he uh, he can uh, run his beagles out here with peace of mind. It's not a very big piece of property, and uh, I'm about 99% positive there's just one pack of coyotes in here, and we shot three of them. Uh, so, and uh, the ones that are left, maybe they'll get the heck out of here. If not... We'll come back out here and kill them again. So, but anyway, oh yeah, one more thing. Our drags. A buddy of mine makes these. They're uh... <laughs> he bites you. Flies. <laughs> so yeah, he makes them out of paracord and. Uh, Man, I've had this one. I don't know how many coyotes we've drug out with this this one. Uh, he made Justin one here the other day, and uh, we really like them. They're super comfortable, lightweight. We throw them in our bags. Uh, and uh, got a good thing, wide handle. Yeah, got a good wide handle. Put it on, and we we drag them. We have to walk everywhere we go. There ain't no access to no you know roads or nothing like that. So we probably walk on a weekend probably a mile or more. And uh, but when we shoot them, we drag them out, man. I really like them. And uh, the guy's name is Weston Bryant. And I'll get with him if he wants to, to, to start making them or make them for some people. I'll uh, put some information on, on, uh, on one of our videos. And y'all can contact him. Maybe he can make y'all one. But all right.